Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be telling y'all about all the books I plan to read in May. The semester is finally over. I took my finals yesterday and I'm done with school <laughs> and I don't have any classes till the fall. I'm so excited and I'm going to dedicate so much time this summer to reading. I'm going to dedicate so much time to reading this month specifically because I'm just so excited to read all the books. So I normally don't put out TBR videos every month. I rarely put out a TBR video if it's not for a readathon. But this month there's so many books I want to read because I've been holding them up. <laughs> Or I'm really excited for new releases coming out this month, so I thought I would share all of those with y'all. I do have a bunch of books on a secret TBR. There's five books that I'm reading for my first like secret TBR video. It's nothing like extravagant. I'm gonna make that into a vlog and I'm in the process of making that video right now, so stay tuned for that. So those are five books on my TBR that I need to get to. And then I have a whole series buddy read. I am buddy reading the a Court of Thorns and Roses series uh, with Melissa from She's an Open Book, who I will link down below. I don't have book number one with me currently because I'm lending out to a friend. I lent it out to her before the coronavirus hit and she has it and I don't even know if she's read it yet. I have to check up with her. I gave it to her before the coronavirus hit so I don't have it. <laughs> but I'm planning on listening to the audiobook for that one because I've never listened to the first book on audio. This series is one of my favorite things in the entire world. <laughs> Y'all can hate Sarah J Mass all you want. I don't care. I love her with every fiber of my being. This series is a, I'm gonna categorize it as new adult fantasy romance, kind of. The first book is A Beauty and the Beast You're Telling and I'm really excited to read this book because I don't think I've ever reread the first book. I've reread this one like 50 bajillion times. Um, but I've only read the other ones once. So I'm very excited to relive this series all the way from the beginning. Week by week in May, Melissa and I will be reading a book. So from May 4th to the 10th, we are reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. And then from May 11th to May 17th, we will be reading A Court of Mist and Fury. And then from May 18th to the 24th, we are reading a Court of Wings and Ruin. I actually haven't talked to her about A Court of Frost and Starlight. I don't know if she, we're actually reading this one together as well, but I would assume it would be the next week after that. I don't know if she is going to read this one with me. We haven't discussed this one yet. I'm just really excited to reread this series, especially with Melissa. I love Melissa so much and we have been wanting to reread this series together for a while now, so I'm so excited. Okay, and then we have three books three different books for uh, live shows or book clubs that I'm a part of. Obviously on May 19th, we have A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes coming out by Suzanne Collins, which is the prequel book that's coming out all about the Hunger Games and President Snow. We are reading this book for the Hunger Games read along hosted by Peyton, Emma, Lily, and me. The live show for The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is going to be on Peyton's channel. I'm linking all these ladies down below. And we're about to have the Mockingjay live show this weekend, this Saturday. And that's going to be on Emma's channel. I love this series so much. The Hunger Games is very near and dear to my heart and all these other ladies' hearts. I don't know much about this book except that it's about President Snow. <laughs> I didn't even read the, I think there's like a chapter one that was released, I think chapter one. I didn't even read that because if I read it, I'd want the whole book. So <laughs> I didn't want to torture myself and I can hold off until May 19th. So I'm really, really excited for this book and I can't wait to have it in my hands. Next we have the Lovely Ladies live show pick for the month of May. This is a live show that I host with Ashley and Jen. Both their channels will be linked down below as well. This month's live show is going to be on Jen's channel and basically every month we just pick out a romance book that we're really wanting to read. We've been all in the mood for historical romance books so we picked out a new release that is a historical romance. We have To Have and to Hoax by Martha Waters. I am so excited about this book. This is a historical romance dealing with an already married couple. I believe that the main character woman 
gets news that her husband is injured or about to die and they don't live together I think and so she rushes to his side and he's perfectly fine and healthy and she thinks that he like played a mean trick on her and so I think it's like a romance with them playing mean tricks on each other and possibly falling in love through that because they don't actually love each other at the beginning of this book I'm pretty sure I believe it's just a marriage of convenience or an arranged marriage so I'm very excited to read this book and to read it alongside with Jen and Ashley and to hear their thoughts and to discuss it in a live show with them and if you want to read this book with us our live show will be towards the end of the month if you want to know the specific date that we have not picked yet be sure to follow all of us on Twitter my Twitter is linked down below and then Ashley and Jen's channels are linked down below with all their social media information so be sure to follow us all on there to be able to keep up to date with our live show and then another book club book that I'm really wanting to read is Kendra and Shelby's book talks after dark book club I was a host for it in February and I loved doing it and I really wanted to read this month's book because it is a romance because Kendra and Shelby read romance and like thriller books and some of the previous ones before May have been like thrillery books which isn't really my cup of tea but there is a romance book for May that I'm really excited about this one is called my favorite souvenir by Vi Keelan and Penelope Ward this will be my first time ever reading a Vi Keelan and Penelope Ward book I've never read one of their books before and I've heard nothing but good things about this author duo so I believe this is their new release it's about a woman who's on vacation I think and then she gets dumped by her boyfriend and then the hotel that she goes to is all booked and then she finds a guy who's trying to pretend to be a guest who didn't show up and then she pretends to be his sister so that they can room together because she wants to stay in this hotel and I think it's like their ro romance I guess I'm not 100% sure but I'm just really excited to participate in this live show with these lovely ladies I believe Cassidy Reads is their guest host who I will also link down below I'm linking everyone I'm talking about down below because I'm talking about so many people today but I love all these ladies and I can't wait to discuss this book with them because it sounds just like so much fun and I can't wait to read a by Caitlin and Penelope Ward book next we have another new New release coming out in May we have Dirty Charmer by Emma Chase this is a spin-off series to the Royals series by Emma Chase I'm pretty sure it's a spin-off so the original trilogy or series is about this family who are the ruling family of a country called Wesco and all of their separate romances and this one takes place in Wesco as well I believe this is about a girl who is an aristocrat and she's like very high up in society but she's not a princess or anything and she's very stuck up and then I believe it's her romance with a bodyguard I don't know if it's her bodyguard but it's a bodyguard and I believe they start up a casual thing that turns into something more I love Emma Chase so much and I love the royally series so much book number two in that series is one of my favorite books of all time I can't wait to read this book as well I'm just I'm so excited I've been waiting for this book for so long so I'm definitely going to read this book in the month of May next we have a book that I did not get to in April that I really want to read which is The Beast by Katie Robert this is her fourth book in the Wicked Villain series all these books are as if the heroine got with the villain of their Disney fairy tale so this one is about the Beast, Belle, and Gaston. I am really excited about this because we met them in all three previous books, more specifically the third book. All of the characters have like changes to their name but you know who they actually are. Beast is Beast, Belle is Isabelle, and Gaston is Gaten. I believe Belle or Isabelle in this case had a relationship with Beast and Gaston and she couldn't choose and so they just all broke it off and I think maybe it's all of them coming together I'm pretty sure. I don't know a lot of people who have read the fourth book yet so I'm very excited to figure out what I think about it. Next we have Ruby Dixon's most recent book. We have Barbarian's Treasure. Now <laughs> this is I don't even know what number book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. I've read all of the Ice Planet Barbarians and all of the Ice Home which is the spin-off series and I am in love with this world a lot and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> so this series is an alien romance series obviously that I talk about a lot. Human women being mated to blue aliens on an ice planet what more do you want <laughs> ruby dixon's series has kind of come to a point where she's kind of going backwards in time where she's now writing books for the couples that coupled up in the first couple books but they didn't have their own book back then so i believe this book is about a couple who were like 
coupling up the very first day that they met each other, but we didn't get their book individually yet. I don't remember the couple's name because they haven't had their own book yet, so I don't know a lot about them, but I'm so excited to read this. I will read any Ice Planet Barbarian book that comes out. I still need to read one more Honeymoon novella. I think it's Kiara's book. I need to read, I think her, that's her name, Kiara. I need to read her Honeymoon book, so that obviously also needs to happen. I'm so excited to get back into the Ice Planet Barbarian world because it's been so long since I've read one of these books. And lastly on this list, we have The Summer I Found You by Jolene Perry. So this is a romance book that I got off of Thrift Books. I have been looking for books that have illness, disability representation in them obviously because I love those books and I love to recommend those books and so I found this one through doing research. A main character woman Kate just found out that she has diabetes and our main character man Aiden um, came back from Afghanistan and he only has one arm now. So you have that disability representation and that illness representation both in a book. So basically Kate had the perfect boyfriend until he dumped her and it couldn't come at a worse time because she just found out she has diabetes and she just wants to feel normal again. Aiden planned on being a lifer in the army and went to Afghanistan straight out of high school. Now he's the guy with one arm and nothing is the same as before. When they meet, all they have in common is that they're less than perfect and all they're looking for is the perfect distraction. I am so excited for this. I'm praying, I'm hoping and praying that this book is amazing. I haven't heard this book ever in my entire life. I've never heard anyone talk about this book. I'm hoping that it's amazing and I can't wait to read it as well. But anyways, there you have it. Those are some of the books that I plan to read in May. I still have my secret TBR and all of these books are subject to change. I read a lot of ebooks <laughs> just off of a whim. Um, so that's probably going to happen this month also. <laughs> so watch my May wrap up at the end of the month if you want to know all the books that I actually read in May. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!